from Studio 3C and Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. Tonight, many people in our area still dealing with all of this, the effects of last week's storm. Yeah. Uh, the damage left behind is going to require a lot of work, but News 4's Ken Bufa explains rushing to make those repairs could have serious lasting consequences. Rooftops covered with tarps, trees split in half, and cars smashed and reshaped. This Brookfield, Connecticut neighborhood is battered from last week's severe weather. It's right in here. For Roy Chan, the storm did not spare his home. It's no longer home, you know, what we, what we had. Not one, but two trees fell on Chan's house while he was away. Trees crashed through his family room, splintering damage throughout his house. Now, just to show you the force of these trees landing on this house, check it out. You can see nails bursting through the ceiling. The roof, the walls, we know where all the water damage is. Like, if you look up the ceiling, it's cracked. Even if you get drying dehumidifiers, fans in right away, 24 to 48 hours, you're growing mold. Microbial investigator Robert White says as homeowners scramble to repair their houses, making decisions too quickly could cause more harm than good. When they do go in and they take out some wall material and then put it back up right away, like happened during Hurricane Sandy, people were in such a hurry to put everything back together, they didn't realize that they were trapping moisture back inside. Chan says he's hired professionals to make the repairs, and he and his family are living in temporary housing for now. And as his neighborhood digs out from the debris, he's hopeful his home will return to what it once was. Just, just bear through it step by step, and you know, you know, hopefully everything will be okay one day. In Brookfield, Ken Bufa, News 4 New York.